news, talk, sports, and classic rock. This is the station listened to, not just heard. 104.9 WFIW FM Fairfield, Illinois. Time now for the news. Brought to you by Boyd Furniture and Mattress Center in downtown Wayne City. No one beats their prices on Serta iComfort mattresses. See weekly pictures and prices on Facebook. I'm Lillian Wu. On Capitol Hill, the House meeting ahead of a spending bill vote. Late last night, the social spending Build Back Better bill was finalized. Now, the votes won't happen until the House establishes a rule. They have to get the parameters for which the debate will be conducted. The debate, we are told, will be about two hours. And then, much later today, you would get to an actual vote. And as we know, Speaker Pelosi wants to vote not only on this massive social spending bill, but also on the bipartisan infrastructure deal. According to the speaker last night, it was clear she may not yet have the votes. That's Fox's Griff Jenkins. And we just got the October jobs report out showing 531,000 jobs were added. That is well above the expectation of around 450,000. The unemployment rate dropped to 4.6%. America's listening to Fox News. I'm Jeff Vaughn with today's news headlines. The Greater Fairfield Area Chamber of Commerce will hold a new event later this month called Santa's Helper. From 1 to 4 on the 21st, parents will drop their kids off with their phone number, kids will shop $1 items at the chamber, and parents will be called when their child is finished. Two people were taken to a hospital after a two-vehicle crash yesterday morning on Route 14 in White County. 28-year-old Johnston City resident Devin T. Milner was westbound in a 2014 Dodge with a 40-foot gooseneck trailer. 56-year-old Carmi resident Tammy A. Smith was behind him in a 2021 Ford ambulance. Police say Milner made a left turn onto a county road and Smith struck the rear of his trailer. She and a passenger, 47-year-old Fairfield resident Tanya T. Earl, were taken to a hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Frontier Community College was one of 17 community colleges in the state to see a headcount enrollment increase from fall 2020 to fall 2021. Enrollment went from 1,719 in fall 2019 to 1,262 in fall 2020 as the pandemic hit, but it rebounded to 1,315 this fall. The Wayne County Health Department says it will receive pediatric Pfizer COVID-19 vaccines for children 5 to 11 in the near future. Interested parties should call the department to be placed on a callback list. Those are your headlines. I'm Jeff Vaughn. It's time for a Friday check of sports. Junior high girls basketball from last night. Center Street, a 49-20 winner over Bloomford. Center Street won the JV game 13-4. North Clay, a 26-23 winner over Jasper. North Clay took the JV game 27-15. In junior high boys action, Center Street 43, Sisney 33. Center Street won the JV game 27-12. Colts beat the Jets 45-30 in the Thursday night NFL game. NBA action last night, the 76ers over the Pistons 109-98. Jazz 116, Hawks 98, Celtics beat the Miami Heat 95-78, Phoenix Suns 123, the Rockets 111, and the Oklahoma City Thunder over the Lakers 107-104. In the NHL, the Blues beat the San Jose Sharks 5-3. Bruins over the Red Wings 5-1. Maple Leafs beat the Lightning 2-1 in overtime. Islanders 6, Montreal Canadiens 2. Vegas Golden Knights 5, Ottawa Senators 1. Florida Panthers over the Washington Capitals 5-4 in overtime. Penguins beat the Flyers 3-2 in overtime. Stars over the Flames 4-3 in overtime. And the Kraken defeat the Buffalo Sabres 5-2. The Cardinals are parting ways with veterans Matt Carpenter and Carlos Martinez. The club has declined options on both players, making them both free agents. Carpenter is a 13th round draft pick out of TCU in 2009, who has been with St. Louis since 2011. The infielder was a three-time All-Star who earned votes for NL MVP three times. Martinez came to the Cardinals in 2013 and became one of the organization's most successful international free agent signings in recent history. The oft-injured right-hander was a two-time All-Star. Here's your schedule for today. In junior high boys basketball, Wayne City is at the Rome Tournament. In the NBA, Pacers at the Trailblazers, Nets at the Pistons, Spurs at the Magic, Grizzlies at the Wizards, Cavaliers at the Raptors, Knicks at the Milwaukee Bucks, Clippers at the Timberwolves, Pelicans at the Warriors, 
Hornets at the Kings. NHL action tonight. Blackhawks at the Winnipeg Jets. Rangers at the Oilers. Predators at the Canucks. Coyotes at the Ducks. And the New Jersey Devils at the Los Angeles Kings. Play continues today at the PGA's Worldwide Technology Championship at Mayacoba, Mexico. On Saturday in high school football, Class 3A playoff action has FCHS at Williamsville. You can hear the game on WFIW 104.9 and WFIWradio.com. Elsewhere, Paxton Buckley Loda is at Tolono Unity. Mount Carmel hosts Carlinville. Benton is at home against Monticello. Lyle Sr. is at Byron. Chicago Clark is at Reed Custer. Fairbury Prairie Central takes on Princeton. And Elmhurst IC Catholic takes on Dupac. Class 1A action tomorrow, Cesar Valier Waltonville is at Athens. In Class 2A, Johnston City is at Breeze Modern Day, Vandalia is at Decatur St. Teresa, and Nashville is at Bismarck Henning, Rossville, Alvin. Class 4A action, Murfreesboro is at Breeze Central. In Class 5A, Marion is at Mascuda tomorrow. Junior high boys and girls basketball tomorrow. Center Street is at the Flora 7th grade tournament. In college football, Illinois is at Minnesota. The 3-6 and six Illini are looking for their second straight road upset after taking down Penn State in nine overtimes in their last road game two weeks ago. Illinois dropped a 2014 decision to Rutgers last week. The Gophers enter the game at 6-2. and two. The game will be broadcast on ESPN2. You can hear it on WFIW AM 1390 and 103.3 FM. Elsewhere in college football tomorrow, EIU is at Austin P. SIU is at home against Missouri State. And the NASCAR Cup Series championship race will take place from Phoenix Raceway on Sunday. Kyle Larson, Denny Hamlin, Chase Elliott, and Martin Truex Jr. are all chasing the title. Elliott enters the race as the defending champion from last season. That is a Friday check of sports. Your classic hits Fairfield area weather forecast. Sunshine today, high 54. Clear tonight, low 30. For tomorrow, sunshine, high 58. Sunny and 64 on Sunday. For Monday and Tuesday, sunshine. The highs each day in the upper 60s. Overnight, low 26. Yesterday's high was 53. Currently, humidity is at 90%. Winds are calm. The pressure at 30.39. Right now, sunshine and 30 here at the WFIW studios east of Fairfield. Making your way in the world today Takes everything you've got Taking a break from all your worries Sure would help a lot Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes you want to go Where everybody knows your name And they're always glad you came Good morning and welcome to Morning Coffee for a Friday. I'm Mark Turner, that's Jeremy Smith, and over there is Chris Connard. Hey, how's everybody doing? Good uh, to see you back, yeah, Turner. Well, I'm, I'm glad to be back. Man, we missed you. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, I, several people I think missed you. I heard people around town saying, where's Mark Turner? Well, you know, I was... Uh, we got asked that a lot. I here was too. incapacitated. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll just say incapacitated. You were on vacation, is that right? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, 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 no. Unfortunately, no. Man. So what have you been up to? <sighs> I've been watching a lot of Fairfield Colts basketball is what I've been doing. My daughter's a cheerleader, and so okay. she cheers for the boys and the girls at the home games, and... Uh, so, yeah, pretty good team this year. Oh, yeah, they big, are pretty good this they year. They are. Big seventh grade tournament tomorrow think, in Florida. Uh, I think they're undefeated, aren't they? I think they are. I think you're right, yeah. Yeah, they had the tournament last week. They beat Flora and, what, Jasper and Wayne City. Yeah. Yeah. And then they yeah. had Flora this weekend for the seventh grade mm-hmm. tournament. Beat Sisney last girls. night, yeah. And beat Sisney last yeah. night, and Sisney's got a good team. Yeah, they do. So, they do. yeah. You hail from the Sisney area. I do, right? man, yeah. Yeah, I still bleed orange a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Orange and blue. I had to clap for the red last night, but I, I, there was a few claps for the orange that I knew. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they had a good team. 
Right, anyway, so. it's fun to watch. See, I've been watching a lot of basketball. Mm-hmm. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's basketball season. It is, yes, but it tomorrow's is. football season, right? Yeah, you betcha. Man, it's, no. it's football and parade. And you said rotary? rotary meat sale? Rotary had a meat sale where you ordered ribs and loins and you pick them up tomorrow at the Methodist Church, I okay. think, between 11 and 1. Yes. Yeah. Is uh, that right? That is. Right, Jeremy? Okay. That yeah, is. yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, the parade, football, and you're making the trip. Yeah. Making, making the, trip the trip to Williamsville. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, j- I just, you know, here, here's, my fo- here's my thought on that. Yeah. We're going too far to get beat. We're driving too far to get beat. So, we, True. you know, we, we got to win. win. We have, we to, have win. to win. We have to win. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. You know, Williamsville came down here a couple, three years ago and yep. just, just beat us. Bad, and wasn't it? It wasn't very good. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's a good program, but, I mean, we just need to get back up there and just beat them. You know, I Googled that. That town's like, what, 1,600 people? Ain't very many people. No, I'm, but I'm sure that the suburbs people are, are pouring in, kind of like we have the feeder schools here. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure that, yeah. Hmm. 1,600 people, man. It's not very big. You're right. I, I may be wrong, but I thought that's what and I And they're in the middle of that. like a $3 million renovation project on their football field. On Just on their football field? I think so. Oh or their athletic gosh. complex. I mean... And I, from what I, I was talking to Jeff Vaughn this morning, and I guess they were state champions, 3A state champions in 2019. So I guess they're the defending state champions. Because of COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It's crazy. So you're going to get a horseshoe when you're up there? Oh, I'd like to. I would love to. You know, you have to, you know we're, thinking, we're thinking about taking the, taking the route up through um, – up through Mattoon, uh-huh. and going up through Taylorville, and then through Bull Pit. Oh, <laughs> Bull you Pit! Bull you, pit. You, you've never been to never Bull Pit. Never heard of Bull oh, Pit. Oh, you got to go to Bull Pit sometime. Uh uh-uh. uh. Um, what what it is? Well, you go new, just north of Taylorville. You take hang a left, mm-hmm. and you you swing around, and you 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 skip out of Springfield. You just yeah. slip around to Chatham. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then in between Taylorville and Chatham, there's a little town called Bull Pit. Okay. I know where Chatham's at. <laughs> it's a Bull Pit. Bull Pit. Huh. <laughs> yep. You so, you look know. off to your right on that little bypass, you'll see the deja vu. I used to work security at on your way through there, too. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. Spent a little time up in Springfield. <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, that, that, uh, actually, the, that, that route will not take you past that. Okay, you're over on the other. Yeah, we're on bypass. the other side. I mean, we yeah. take the other bypass. Oh, okay, and swing you take the other bypass. Chatham. Okay. Yeah, so. okay. Oh man, that's a that's a long trip. That's a long drive. I mean, just no easy way to get there. I I was talking to the AD yesterday, and okay, his area code is three o nine. I mean, that's up oh, around man. Bloomington. I mean, it's yeah. way up there. Yeah, yeah. Crazy. Now, if we win, hypothetically, we win tomorrow. We, we play. Should. We play next Saturday. Yeah, we should play next Saturday against any idea. Um, I think it's um, either PBL or and who's PBL? Paxton Buckley Loda. Never heard of it, Jeremy. Me either. Nope. It's nope. Uh, it's uh, north of Rantoul, along Fifty Seven. Oh my! Uh, okay. Sure. Okay. Good morning. You're on morning coffee. Yeah, you're talking about bullpit. You're going to make people in Kincaid mad if you don't mention them. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the call. Because <laughs> you can't tell the difference between the towns. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for the call, Bruce. Oh, man. Yeah, I forgot about Kincaid, too. Let's see here. Um, let me see here. Let's see if I can find my, my paper here. I believe that we will have either Paxton Buckley Loda or Tolono Unity if we win tomorrow. Tolono up north also, right? Yeah, Tolono is um yeah, it's it's around Champaign too. Yeah. So I believe wow. so. I believe. I may be wrong on yeah. that, but I believe so. <laughs> I know I know if we get to the semifinals it's Mount Carmel. Good morning. You're on morning Good Carmel. Good morning. Hey, um, I'd like to get an uh, announcement out about the Wayne County uh, Craft Show. Uh, Jenny Concession Stand is going to be there tomorrow, and we've got lots of good vendors and a lot of good Christmas items out there for sale. Okay. Where's it located? It's at the Wayne County Fairgrounds. Over, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Local here. I bet there's going to be a lot of stuff going on in town tomorrow. Sure is. All right. Thanks for the call. 
Uh-huh. And the reminder. So Yes. Yeah. You well, know, we've got about eight so, or nine different things going on tomorrow that things. I put live reads out. Yeah, I, know, I, saw, and I, thought, I see yeah. that. And I thought, good Lord, we don't have enough room on the board for all these yeah. live reads for Saturday. And you know what else is going on this weekend, too? What's, What's that? that? When I was a boy, I walked into the store. I think they call it the seven. Call it. I saw something underneath the glass that looked just like manna. Straight from heaven. I asked the clerk behind the counter what was in it. Said it's just one of life's little mysteries. But I knew my love for corn dogs was surely destiny. I say, oh, yeah, that's right. Janet Dean's going to be out across the street from the courthouse today. Well, in front of the courthouse today. I'm going to have to sneak out of here for about 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> Those are some good corn dogs. Oh, oh yes, man, they, they are. are. Man. man. Yes. Good when they're hot, good when they're cold. Oh. Good yeah. when they're fresh, good when they're old. That's right. That's right. <laughs> It's time for the bucket of bomb. It's full of lots of great stuff. Our listeners just can't get enough. Because everyone listening loves bunk. All right. (laughs) Man. By the way, thank you for the breakfast. Hey, you're welcome. Yes. Yes. You are very welcome. Today is National Donut Day. Oh. Yeah. Should have brought some donuts. It's National Red Hair Day. Okay. World Tsunami Awareness Day, hmm. Fountain Pen Day, it's New uh, National Jersey Day. Oh, so I guess you know you get yourself a jersey. It's uh, Red Hot uh, National Hot Sauce Day. Hey, mm-hmm. I put that stuff on everything. National Concrete, <laughs> okay, National <laughs> Concrete Appreciation Day. Concrete Appreciation what? Day. Yeah, who makes this stuff up, man? Wow. Know. Wow. Oh, no. It's National Sneaker Day, Bank Transfer Day, World Community Day, Firewood Day, Britney Day, International Day of the Clown, and <laughs> International Day of Fairy Tale Characters. International Day uh. of the Clown. Yeah. I just like the way that sounds. <laughs> that sounds like a great song title. Pickle should uh, work on that. Cover you all should be yeah. working on that. All right. Um, celebrity Birthdays, 1963. Tatum O'Neill. Really? Yeah. Can you believe she's that old? No, no. Not at all. And I know none of us are that old, but can you believe she's that old? No. Not at all. Youngest actress ever to win an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress at the age of 10. Hmm. 10. For her role, Addie Loggins, in the movie Paper Moon. Hmm. She was married to John McEnroe. Uh, let's see here. They were uh, she's been uh, well. She's had some issues because you know she was a young personal life person. Right. Well, uh, you know, you have to have some issues to marry Johnny McEnroe. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> 19, that guy's stable. <laughs> 1947. Peter Noon was born. Really. Herman, uh, yes. Herman's Hermits. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see. 1913, Vivian Lee. Hmm. She was in Gone with the Wind. Mm-hmm. She was in A Streetcar Named Desire. Those are two pretty good movies. Those are yeah. very good movies. Uh, she was born in India. Really? Yeah. Wow. 1952, Bill Walton. Okay. Yeah. Basketball Hall of Fame center. Boston mm-hmm. Celtics. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Played for the Portland Trailblazers for a while. Mm-hmm. I think he played for the Portland Trailblazers, then took a break. Okay. And then came back and played for the Celtics. Really? Because he had some knee issues. Hmm. And he played at UCLA with you know for mm-hmm. John Wooden. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Art Garfunkel has a birthday today. Hmm. How old's Art? 
Art is 80. 80. Mm -hmm. <laughs> TV personality Chris Jenner. Robert Patrick from Terminator 2, Judgment Day in the X-Files and Perry Mason. Tilda Swinton. She was in Snowpiercer. Never seen that. Neither ring a bell. Yeah. No. Um, let's see. Michael Gaston from Unforgettable and The Mentalist. Hmm. Famke Jansen. The Taken film trilogy, and she was in the X-Men film series. Um, Sam Rockwell was Jojo Rabbit, and uh, he was in the movie Three Billboards. <laughs> Luke Hemsworth from Westworld. I don't think the original Westworld. I think the remake. Mm. Amit Mohindra from The Walking Dead and The World Beyond. Nina Sergvina on The Americans. Hmm. So. And Kevin Jones of the Jonas Brothers. Kevin Jonas of the Jonas Brothers has a birthday. Now, there's a group that fell off real quick. Thank uh -huh. God. <laughs> mm Bob. Yeah, mm Bob, yes. Mm Bob. Uh, all the state in history, 2009, Major Malik Hassan opened fire at Fort Hood, Texas. Hmm. Killed 13 people and injured 30. Mm -hmm. 1994, George Foreman became the oldest boxing heavyweight champion ever. Wow. 1956. Oh, wait a minute. That's all I've got. Really? Oh, 1956, the Nat King Cole show debuted oh. on NBC. The first show hosted by an African-American. Yes. So, there you go. All right. Also on this day in 1960, 33-year-old country music singer Johnny Horton was killed in a car crash when a drunk driver hit his Cadillac. He went on down to New Orleans. He did. Or he was going down. He was to going New down to New Orleans. In 1977, Ozzy said he was done with Black Sabbath the first time. <laughs> the first time he quit Black Sabbath. How do you say it? <laughs> uh, Ozzy was the original Brett Favre. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm retired. No, I'm not. Yes, I'm. And I gotta say, kudos to uh, kudos to, to to Dio for stepping in there. I mean, I I know a lot of people like to to say it's not the same, and it's not. But Dio did a heck of a job. Heck of a job. Yeah. In 1977, yeah, he, he is referring to Ronnie James Dio. That is right. Okay. That's right. You can see the stripes, but you know he's clean. Oh, can't you see what I mean? Okay. Yes. Ride the tiger. Okay. On this day in 1977, a record store owner in England was arrested for displaying a poster for the newest Sex Pistols album. Police fined people under the 1898 Indecent Advertising Act. Hmm. 1898. Yes. In 2003, righteous brother Bobby Hatfield died of a heart of heart of heart failure. Excuse me, that was hard to get out <laughs> of heart failure in a hotel room in Kalamazoo, Michigan. See, now that's where I should have stumbled. You would think Kalamazoo mm -hmm. would be harder to say than heart attack. Yeah, well, but you think so? You would think so. In 2009, you two performed a special concert at the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin to mark the 20th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. Mm -hmm. Also in 2009, record label EMI filed a copyright violation suit against a U.S. website after a string of Beatles tracks appeared online for download at discounted prices. Oh, okay. And last but not least, sticking with the Beatles, in 2011, <laughs> a decayed tooth that the late Beatle John Lennon had pulled in the 1960s was sold at an auction in Stockport, England, fetching more than $31,000. For a tooth. For a decaying old rotten tooth. A rotten tooth. Mm. That had been pulled 50 years earlier. Wow. Okay, why yeah. did this guy keep it? It's a good question. Right. Yeah. Did he keep it in a like a, a, a jar of pickle juice or something? You have to wonder about that. Is he the type that has the, the, the two-headed pig on his shelf in a jar when you first walk into the house? You know, the little homunculus in a jar? It's likely. Well, yeah. Wait a minute, yeah. wait a minute, wait a minute. What word was that? Homunculus. Hermunculus. Yes. Wow. Yes. 
That's a big word, man. That is a big word. That's a big word. That is a that's, big that's word. That's bigger than I can talk about. I only know the word humunculus because of one of the uh, Tales from the Crypt style shows I used to watch. They okay. had a little evil hum- humunculus that would come to life over the nighttime hours and hop out of his yard and go kill people. Yeah, it was... Okay. Uh-huh. I had a strange childhood. Yeah. Well, well, apparently we so. <laughs> apparently so. <laughs> Carnaby Square question of the day. Derek Dunn provided this for us, and it, yeah. it, it did it was okay. Good. It, it did blew okay. up. Yeah, it did not bad the at all. Question, fill in the blank. I knew Mom was mad when she <laughs> would blank. Okay. We're going to get some answers coming up for you. to be girls invite you to explore their exciting new clothing and Brighton's handbag jewelry collections. Get inspired and treat yourself to something wonderful at Carnaby. New deliveries, multiples and mocha and melon, cotton country sweaters, Charlie B and Oily Sportswear. Check out their new quirky footwear, boots, flats and comfy every day. Sizes 6 through 11. Always something new at the Fashion Leader, Carnaby Square, downtown Fairfield. With just one spray of Microband 24, your hard surfaces are sanitized for up to 24 hours. Touch after touch after touch. So six hours from now? Still sanitized. 12 hours? Yep. 18 hours. We're really doing this. 24 hours. When used as directed, one spray of Microband keeps killing 99.9% of bacteria touch after touch for, yeah, up to 24 hours. Wow. Microband 24, the sanitizer four out of five doctors would use in their own homes. So why aren't you? At the end of a hospital stay, families are often faced with difficult decisions about their loved ones needing skilled rehabilitation care. Regardless of where your loved one's hospital is, the Transitional Care Rehab Program at Hamilton Memorial Hospital can help. Our skilled rehab and nursing care can provide twice daily physical and occupational therapies, daily access to providers, and private bed and bathrooms, all right here close to your family's home. If you're faced with care decisions, ask your loved one's care planner about Hamilton Memorial Hospital Transitional Care Rehabilitation or call 643 Mules play at Williamsville Saturday in the second round of the Class 3A football playoffs. And we've got it for you on WFIW 104.9 and WFIWradio.com. Our broadcast about 1.45 p.m. Saturday with pregame information. Mules football is brought to you in part by Fairfield Memorial Hospital, Fairfield Banking Company, Rush Appliance and Furniture, f and Fairfield National Bank, Lawn Tire, and Wayne White Propane. Those big wireless companies try to lure you in with a new phone just to lock you into a contract. Not Simple Mobile. If you have a great smartphone you love, you can get a powerful nationwide 5G network without the contract. Just text the word BYOP to 611611 to see if your phone's compatible. Simple Mobile. Out with the old, in with the simple. Message and data rates may apply. Visit simplemobile.com slash privacy policy for privacy policy and the terms and conditions at simplemobile.com slash terms and conditions. Compatible 5G capable device and SIM required. Actual availability, coverage, and speed may vary. 5G network not available in all areas. 5G upload speeds not yet available. Hi folks, I'm Larry Hobbs, owner of Hobbs & Company Music Store, home of the Music Man, 9 a.m. to 3 o'clock. Guitars, violin, mandolin, uke, banjos, harmonicas, jaw harp, recorders and strings, clarinet, flute, trombone, saxophone, reeds, and so forth. Our phone number is 599-7480 or 842-2701. All credit cards, oh yeah. Yes, we're still taking cash. Are you looking for a rewarding career with a pension opportunity? Consider joining the team with Rides Mass Transit District. Rides currently has driver openings in the Grayville, Fairfield, and Mount Carmel offices, along with mechanic openings. With Rides Mass Transit District, you'll be helping neighbors arrive safely to non-emergency medical appointments, help deliver meals to seniors, take people to work, and take people needing to run errands shopping to spend dollars in our local economy. Visit RidesMTD.com and click on Careers for more information and apply today with Rides Mass Transit District. Equal opportunity employer. Have you ever wondered if you're on track for retirement, how much you will need, or when you will be able to retire? Hi, this is Lou Carl, financial advisor with f Asset Management. I'm here to help answer these difficult questions. Our comprehensive retirement planning services help you plan through the entire retirement process, from planning, education, and guidance to 401k rollovers and IRA transfers. We can help you plan today so you're able to enjoy your retirement when the time comes. Call 842-2109 or visit today. f Asset Management. 
Hi, this is Bill Stevens with another Time Capsule Quiz. Which month and year was it when Congress ended its Iran-Contra hearings? In a TV speech, President Reagan told us, There's nothing I can say that would make the situation right. I was stubborn in my pursuit of a policy that went astray. I did not know about the diversion of funds. Chicago got nine inches of rain in one day. Hollywood lost John Houston and Lee Marvin. Larry Nelson won the PGA Championship in a sudden death playoff. And the radio is playing hits like these. Okay, when did we first hear all this? The answer and a piece of the top song from the month and year are coming up. Want to hear something amazing? Discover matches all the cash back you earn on your credit card at the end of your first year, automatically, dollar for dollar, with no limit on how much you can earn. Extra cash? Come on, how amazing is that? In fact, it's even more amazing when you realize all the places where Discover is accepted. 99% of places in the U.S. that take credit cards. So when it comes to Discover, get used to hearing yes more often. Learn more at discover.com slash yes. 2021 Nielsen Report. Limitations apply. August 1987. Los Lobos and La Bamba. The top song of August 1987. This is Bill Stevens for tcapsule.com. Back soon with another Time Capsule. Psst, have you heard what's happening at Kohl's today? Black Friday deals. You can get an exclusive KitchenAid bundle for $349.99, $849 throws or pillows from the big one, and 50% off jammies for your families, which will be perfect for family photos. Did I mention the extra 15% off and the $15 Kohl's cash you get for every $50 spent? I'm on my way now. The deals are just too great to wait. Select style. Select deals valid through November 7th. The big one deals valid through November 10th. Some exclusions apply. See store or Kohl's.com for details. All right, welcome back to Morning Coffee. It's time to get some answers to that Carnaby Square question of the day. Of course, Carnaby Square is the fashion leader in downtown Fairfield. Fill in the blank. You know your mom was mad when she did this. Mm-hmm. Chris, what do you think? Um, full name. Yes. Yeah. Or set in silence. Mm-hmm. Or she said, uh, wait till your father gets home. Yeah, those, you know, full name and wait till your father gets home. Mm-hmm. Those, those were mine. Yep. Because, you know. Oh, yeah. The uh, middle name, and I'm about to call Grandpa, was what I feared. Oh, boy. Ooh. As she called Grandpa, and Grandpa took the time to drive across town, I was getting my oh, rear end yeah. busted. Do you ever have to go pick out your own swing? Oh, have. yeah. Yeah. Yes, I have. Oh, yeah. I have, too. Oh, yeah. That was that was a regular thing. <laughs> and, then, and then if you try to be funny, I killed that pick poor out tree. a bitty one. <laughs> yeah. Then yeah. They, even worse. they pull off a tree limb yep. and just, yep. you know. I have to say, I feel so bad. There was at least one tree that summer that died. Uh, just <laughs> that poor tree. <laughs> Mark says, tear up and give me that look. Uh oh. Yes, the look. We all know the look. And, mm-hmm. you know, I don't know what's worse. The, mom the look of disappointment. Yes. I don't mm-hmm. know what's worse, the mom look or the wife look. I mean, they can both cut. Yeah. Yeah. Lois says, when she'd call all three names, you knew who mm-hmm. you were. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Kathy says, look at me over the top of her glasses. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Kayla says, talked through her teeth. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. The gritted teeth. Gritted yes. Trees. Yes. <laughs> David says, when she would make me go cut my own switch. So there, there you, you go. go. Yep. There's the first one for that. Here's another said first and middle name. The eyes. The look in the eyes is uh, on there. Rhonda says, anytime she said my name. Jenny says, called me Jeanette instead of Jenny. Oh. Oh, yeah. yes. Yeah. Mike says, grabbed the yardstick from behind the basement door. Ooh. Oh. 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 
Yeah. Sounds like he might have grown up in a Catholic household with that <laughs> ruler. <laughs> Billy says, get quiet and then go get the broom. Wow, we're just getting more and the more broom. violent. Now we're up to the broom. Holy Never cow. Man. Holy water. cow. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, yeah. Broom. Yep. Yeah. Get the, get the baseball bat out. Oh, yeah. Bat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Charity says, when she would say, I'm telling your dad. Rick says, middle name. Trina says, middle name. MJ said, be quiet. Mm-hmm. Scott says, just whipped his hide in. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. I think mine gave up after a while and realized that wasn't doing any good and started looking for more creative ways to take care of the issue. Oh, yeah. When they get creative, look out. Hayden says, give me the look. Ruth says, when she would start cleaning. Hmm. Really? I guess she had a mother that cleaned out of anger. Uh-huh. Boy, our house would have been spotless. <laughs> <laughs> Mary said when she got a switch off of the peach tree. Crystal said you snap. Know what? Yes. Um, peach trees and willow trees. Those are the Willows worst. are the worst. A weeping really? cherry tree hurts, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's like a cat of nine tails, especially if it's cherry season. <laughs> Can't tell where what's blood and what's cherry juice. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Crystal said snapped her head around and used both first and middle name. Uh Uh-oh. Joyce is another full name. Donnie, another full name. Becky, full name. Courtney said cooked enough food for the entire neighborhood. Uh An angry cooker. Well, you know, at least you were full while you were being punished. Sure. Yeah. Unless mom's cooking was abysmal, and then I guess that would be punishment all in itself. Yeah. Chad says use both of his middle names. Oh, he's got two middle names. Oh, man. Oh, man, yeah. You just know with each name added, it's getting progressively worse. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jeff said play the piano. David said use first and middle name. Dennis said lie to dad. Lie to dad? Lie to dad. So I guess mom would take what Dennis did. Go tell dad it was that much worse, according to Dennis. Oh, okay. And get dad all riled up. Man. Sounds like you all uh, had a rough one there, buddy. Katie says, silent treatment. Tim says, grabbed the fly swatter. Yep. Had that a few times. Oh, yes. Oh, Oh, yes. Them old metal fly swatters, never have I seen a straight handle on any of them. No matter whose house you're at, they're always all bent and twisted Mm -hmm. up. You know what's been going on there. Bertha says, the look or the yell. Chris, another one for the yardstick there. And then Joe says, give him the look. Give him the look. Give him the look. Several answers there. I yes. know. Most of them say the middle name, and I think we all know that routine. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And, and, you know, if, just wait till your father gets home. Oh, yes. Yep. Yeah. See, I, I missed out on that. That's why I had the whole, I'm calling your grandpa. Yeah. And see, that made it even worse because, I mean, dad comes home. I'm assuming dad's had a long day. He's already going to be aggravated. But grandpa had to get up, put shoes on, get in the car, drive across town to deal with your little butt. That's so much worse. Yeah, he's so really much worse. Oh yeah, he's he's not having a good day. Mm. That's not good. No. So the the Mac rib is coming back. It's actually oh. back now. Is it back? Yeah, it is back. All right. So I just never could get into that. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a Mac rib guy. Huh. No. I, mean, I just I, I don't know. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if you talked about this yesterday, but the um, there are some new members of the National Toy Hall of Fame. Really? I did not talk about Who that. Uh, the Strong National Museum of Play in Rochester, New York, announced yesterday that American Girl Dolls, the board game Risk, and Sand. And Sand. Sand. Yeah, were inducted in on Thursday. The toys were among 12 finalists, which also included Cabbage Patch Kids, Battleship, and Billiards. Hmm. American Girl Dolls were created in 1986, while Risk was first published in the U.S. in 1959. The museum argued Sand may be the most universal and oldest toy in the world. But I don't see that as a... Toy. Yeah. I, mean, I, don't, I don't know. I guess by definition, it's something you play with, but. Well, I yeah, mean. Yeah, by definition, you play with it. Yeah. But you also play with dirt, mud. Yeah. Yeah. A, a toy. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's a story. I, I get. Uh, well, no, a sand you know box, what, I could see. You can go out and buy 
sand. Oh, that colored sand, the, the little artistic colored sand that they do. Yeah, I never thought yeah, about that. Yeah, you go out and buy that, so I guess it would be considered a toy. I don't know how I forgot that. I had huh. yellow sand all over the house from my daughter years ago. What's Uh-oh. up, Jeff? Here we go. Jeff. I'm going to let you guys know. I'm going to be leaving early today. i got to go play sand. So, okay. just in case you're wondering where I am. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. We appreciate that. And the Butterball Turkey Hotline is open. Hey. Oh. What's that for? Like how to cook or yeah. how to cook it? In case you have, call any, in have any questions. I like to call them and yeah. just say hi. Yeah. <coughs> they don't appreciate it you know, as much, You know what we need to do? We need to get somebody from the Butterball Turkey Hotline. On the line? On, on morning coffee. We could, we could make that happen. Yeah. All right. We can make that happen. It's back for a Our butterball year. correspondent. Back for a 40th year to help many get year. their Thanksgiving dinner on the table. Hmm. The iconic hotline started out just by phone, then expanded to include text, online chat, social media, and Amazon Alexa. Hmm. And now, TikTok. Really? Really? TikTok. Huh. Are I, you a TikTok fan? I, I, it pops up on my uh, Facebook feed sometimes, but I, I I don't have an app if there's an app for it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know I don't, how to do it. I don't, I don't know. The uh, I I still buy into the Ooh. whole it's a tool of the Chinese government to spy on the American teenagers. So yeah. now I stay right. away from it. New this year <laughs> on the Butterball Turkey Hotline are recipes that you can dance to. Oh, recipes that you can dance to. Huh. The mm. goal is to reach the first time hosts who want to try out the latest food trends. 1-800-BUTTERBALL is the phone number to call. Hmm. You can do it until Christmas Eve. I was in really? Sam's yesterday okay. in Evansville because I had to go to the doctor. Right. Mm-hmm. In Sam's yesterday in Evansville. And I'm st- standing there waiting. And I look up and this woman's walking by. She, just <laughs> <laughs> she stopped to, you know, to show him the receipt. Yeah. And she's... Just a bee bumping. Does she have earphones in or anything? I don't he's know. He's dancing for those I don't of you. Know. For those of you that aren't watching, he's dancing. Right, right. Well, yeah. You know, it's it's. No, do you have the moves like uh, Jagger? Oh, no, I don't know about that. <laughs> you don't know, <laughs> <laughs> so she, you don't know if she had headphones or not. I have no idea. She was just dancing to her own. Yeah. yeah. Dancing to her own huh. drum in line. Yeah. I mean, hmm. she was. She was. No, she wasn't in line. Oh, no. She was walking to to do the receipt. You know, you when you leave. Oh yeah. You gotta yeah. show them your receipt. What's up with that? Do you ever get that? Yeah. Oh, they yeah, like, look at it, and just cross a couple things, and send you on your way. Yeah. yeah. It's like used to. They, it'd just be one. They look and they go, okay, look, boom, look there. Oh, there it is, right there. Mark yeah. it off. Okay, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was three yesterday. I had to have three. They, they wanted to see three things. Hmm. I was like, come just on. Don't get that. You just went through line. I say, yeah, because yeah. most people and you got, you know, and you pay for use... 99% of their stuff and steal that one item. Yeah. And, you, yeah. and you had to use that card. Yeah. Or on your, you know, your app on your phone to get the thing out. Why do they need to check it? Yeah. A second time. Just hold you up from getting out of the store sometimes. Yeah. Hmm. I found that if they hold their finger up and you just keep walking, they ignore them. They cannot, like, physically stop you. You just no. keep walking. I've never tried. I just that. ignore them. Just keep walking. Uh-uh. Uh, sir, no, thank you. Just, just throw a hand up. No, thank not, you. Not interested. Thank you. Yeah. Now, I use Sam's Club too, but have, have either of you used Costco? I've heard that's. Good, I have but not I, used. I, Costco. Never I, I, I will. I'd love to go to Costco sometime. I've yeah. never. I've never had the chance to go. But can you do like a free the first time free tour I don't think thing? So. I don't think so. If you like it, you buy gotta, the card. You gotta, I think you got to pay all in. Before yeah. you go in, yeah. See, okay. I've never, I've never been in Costco. Every, see, every place, and they got one over in Evansville now. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I've heard people talk about Costco. They say it's really cool. Yeah. Hmm. So I don't know. So you have trivia for us. I do Veterans Day trivia. I, I got a hold of my parents who are avid listeners of the show when I'm on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> And I said, what kind of trivia do you think? And my dad said, I do veterans. And my dad's a veteran of the Army. And uh, well, thank, thank you for, you for your service, service Dad. And, and so he said, I think you should do some Veterans Day trivia. So I have Veterans Day trivia for All you. All right, bring nice. it on. We have the parade tomorrow, Veterans Day next week. <laughs> yes. Okay. What is the approximate number of U.S. veterans today? Question number two. How many stars were on the American flag in 1954 when November 11th officially became Veterans Day? All right. Where can you find the tomb of the unknown person? What is the largest U.S. military base according to the size of the population? 
Oh, that's a tricky one. Okay, whose words are these? It is fatal to enter a war without the will to win it. Okay. Who is the second person in charge after the commander and chief of the armed forces? When did the last of U.S. troops leave Vietnam? What year? Okay, I think I know that one. What flower is a symbol of Veterans Day? I do know that one. Yep. Out of the 45 presidents that we've had, how many have been veterans? Oh, wow. Okay. And it, it's a bunch. I yeah, I know. Shocked. It is a bunch. Yeah. Um, last question. What is the name of the youngest U.S. Army officer to be promoted to general? I think I know that. Okay, and then as a bonus, if you know his age when he was promoted, we have a. So we got ten questions and a I, bonus. I, I, I bet you do know that. I may know that one too. Who knows? I'll, I'll give it a shot though. Life is a series of moments. Big moments, small moments, moments you want to bottle up so they can last forever. At Edward Jones, we want you to make the most of all of them. Whether you're planning for the trip of a lifetime, retirement, or just need some everyday advice along the way. That's why an Edward Jones financial advisor like me works with you to build personalized strategies for today and tomorrow. Life is for living. Let's partner through all of it. I'm Edward Jones financial advisor, Abby Rivers. Call me at 842-4696. Edward Jones, member SIPC. Are you looking for a way to make a difference? Well, you can by providing vital supplies to the Wayne County Humane Society. Have dog chow, cat food, and litter delivered to the Pearl Fovel Shelter at 518 Southeast 4th Street in Fairfield. You can also sponsor a dog or cat by providing the funds needed for them to be spayed or neutered with the needed shot. It makes them more adoptable. The Wayne County Humane Society in Fairfield. Help us help them. When you think of everyday great deals on love seats, recliners, and sectionals, you need to think of Boyd Furniture and Mattress Center in downtown Wayne City. Boyd Furniture and Mattress Center has some of the best deals in the area, and they have them every day. Shop Boyd Furniture and Mattress Center. They'll treat you right. Here's what's going on. The Fairfield Veterans Day Parade is scheduled to be held on Saturday, November the 6th at 2 p.m. Lineup will begin at 1 on North 1st Street, and as with last year, it's a first-come, first-served basis. Two semi-flatbeds will be used to give rides to veterans, and anyone with questions should call Clifford Reaver at 516-3111. Before the parade, St. Edward's Catholic Church will host a drive through breakfast from 7 until 9 a.m. for veterans and their families. The Roasted Chestnuts will perform in concert at Freedom Park at 1.30. You can listen to the parade on 105.9 WOKZ or watch our video stream at WFIW Radio. Dot com. Social Security is with you through life's journey from birth to retirement. As your life changes year to year, so do your needs. For over 80 years, Social Security has helped to meet your needs and is committed to improving access to the services that make a difference in your life. Today, you can verify your earnings, estimate your future benefits, apply for retirement, manage your benefits, and even change your address, all from the comfort of your home. Social Security's online services help put you in control with secure access to your information anytime, anywhere, allowing you to spend more time with family, friends, or simply just enjoying the day. Social Security, securing today and tomorrow. See what you can do online at socialsecurity.gov. Produced at U.S. Taxpayer. We've got Mules football Saturday on WFIW 104.9 and WFIWradio.com as FCHS plays at Williamsville in the second round of the Class 3A football playoffs. Our broadcast about 1.45 p.m. Saturday with pregame information. Mules football brought to you in part by McDowell, Kinslow & Jessup, Christina Copeland Country Financial, the Fairfield Save-A-Lot, Lamont Chevrolet Chrysler, and People's National Bank. TOC Direct Media is bringing Bob and Tom comedians Kostaki Economopoulos, Pat Godwin, and Willie Griswold to Vincennes on December 11th at the Eagles Lodge on Willow Street for a night of comedy. Brought to you by TOC Direct Media, High Point Country Club, and First Vincennes Savings Bank. 
A cash bar and food will be available during the event. Must be 18 to enter and 21 to purchase alcohol. Tickets are on sale now at TOCBigDeals.com. Veterans face treacherous situations filled with peril while serving our country. Many veterans come home physically injured, suffering from PTSD, have traumatic brain injuries, or other ailments. At an unprecedented time in history, our most vulnerable veterans are isolated at hospitals and their homes. Imagine having to shelter in place forever. Over the past year, Help Heal Veterans has sent nearly a half million therapy kits to isolated veterans and active military. Help Heal Veterans, with the support of citizens like you, creates, manufactures, and distributes therapeutic art and crafts projects for our veterans and military, making things better together. Join us in supporting an isolated or sick veteran and help them through this desperate time. To learn more, visit HealVets.org. This message is furnished by Help Heal Veterans, a not-for-profit organization that has been helping veterans for 50 years. HealVets.org. WWE is coming home to Evansville for the first time in more than a year. 6.45 tonight at Ford Center. Get ready for WWE Friday Night Smackdown. Are you ready to go right now? You'll see Drew McIntyre as he joins the New Day's Kofi Kingston and King Woods to face Universal Champion Roman Reigns and SmackDown Tag Team Champions The Usos and more. Tickets start at $20. Available at Ticketmaster.com. Unused prescription opioid pain medicines can spell trouble. Safely dispose of opioids before they can hurt your family. Find a drug take-back option such as medicine drop boxes. Visit www.fda.gov slash drug disposal. Radar Weather is sponsored by Conard Financial Group at 510 West Delaware in Fairfield with securities offered through Raymond James. Conard Financial Group, investing in the community since 2003. Does your financial future depend on the performance of a single investment? In any type of market, allocating your investments among a variety of assets may help minimize risk. I understand the importance of asset allocation and can design a diversified portfolio based on your risk profile to help you attain your goals. For details, call me, Chris Conard, at 842-7855. That's 842-7855. Raymond James Financial Services, Inc., member FINRA, SIPC. Life well planned. Your Classic Hits Fairfield area weather forecast. Sunshine today, high 54. Clear tonight, low 30. For tomorrow, sunshine. High 58, sunny and 64 on Sunday for Monday and Tuesday. Sunshine, the highs each day in the upper 60s. Overnight low 26, yesterday's high was 53. Currently, humidity is at 85%. Winds are calm and the pressure at 30.39. Right now, we've got sunshine and 34 here at the WFIW studios east of Fairfield. Radar showing nothing but clear skies all over southeastern Illinois. Radar weather has been brought to you this morning by the Conard Financial Group. I need some WD-40 for this chair over here. Yeah. Every move yeah. I make, I yeah. hear through my headset. All right, we need yeah. some Veterans Day trivia. Veterans Day trivia. All right. Hey, and before I start, I want to give a shout-out to Gail Gwaltney, a longtime friend of mine, and uh, she's a daily listener of your show. And uh, So, hi, Gail. Hi, Gail. Hey. Okay. So you ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Bring it on. All right. Number one. What is the approximate number of U.S. veterans today? Let me give you some hints. Yes. 17 please. million, 22 million, 27 million. I'm going to say 22 million. 27 million. 22 million. Mark really? Turner. Really? 22 Ooh. million. Nice. U.S. veterans. Nice. Thank you. How many stars were on the American flag in 1954 when November 11th officially became Veterans Day? 48. I would say 48. You're both correct. Where can you find the tomb of the unknown person? Arlington Cemetery. Yeah. Yep. What's the largest U.S. military base according to the size of the population? You should know this. Okinawa. Nope. Nope. Fort Bragg. Fort Bragg. Is it Bragg? It is Bragg, okay. yeah. Yep. I figured being an Army, Army Bragg, you'd have known that. No. 
No. Not any time at Bragg for you? No. Never never lived at Fort Bragg. Really? No. Wow. So. Hmm. Whose words are these? It is fatal to enter a war without the will to win it. Douglas MacArthur? You are correct. Good. Guess. General Douglas MacArthur. Yes. Mm-hmm. Good job, Mark. About uh, Korea. Yeah. Because he got fired by the president for wanting to use nuclear weapons. Oh, really? I think so. Mm-hmm. Who is the second person in charge after the commander-in-chief of the armed forces? His wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's first. She's first. <laughs> um, I would say general of the general of the army. Second in command in the chain of command would be the vice president. The answer that I have is the secretary of defense. Okay. Okay. I think he, I think he means after the chief of the joint chiefs. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe. Um, okay, what year? When did the last of the U.S. troops leave Vietnam? The year? 75? 76. 73. 73. Yeah. Yeah, 1973. Should have went with my first thought. Right. What flower is a symbol of Veterans Day? The poppy. That's the an poppy. easy one. Yeah. Yes. I had to give you a gimme. Yeah. Okay. The forty-five presidents that we've had. How many are veterans? I'm gonna guess thirty-five. Thirty-five. I'm gonna say forty-two. Forty-two of the forty-five. Yeah. Jeff, you got any guess? Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. 31. 31, okay. 31 of... Impressive. Yeah. I still think that should be a requirement. I can see that. If you're not a military... Maybe not necessarily wartime, but peacetime is fine too, but if you're not a military veteran, how are you going to command the military? Mm -hmm. That's a good point. That is a good point. Yeah. What... the Last question. What is the name of the youngest U.S. Army officer to be promoted to general? George Custer? Yeah. Wow. George Custer. Wow. Mark Turner. I was a history major for a little Man. How, do you know how old he was when he was promoted? 26. A little younger. 23. 23. Okay. Wow. Yeah, 23. Wow. I'll be. Yeah. All right. So. so that's your Veterans Day trivia. Thank you right. for your service, Yeah. both of you. Well, thank well, you. I didn't, I didn't serve. My dad served, but... I spent a lot of time on a military base. I'm gonna be honest with you, the family of military served in their own way. High school. Yeah. And we graduated what? From a DOD high school. Wow. Department, Department of, Defense? of Defense. Oh, high okay. School. Yep. So Wow. Where was uh, that at, Mark? Fort Knox. Okay. He went to the school of hard knocks. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lived um lived uh, just pretty close to the gold vault. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, anyway, thanks to all of our veterans yeah. out there. Yeah, Definitely. Absolutely. Yes. So, all right, let's look at uh, everything that's going on this weekend. All right. Okay. <laughs> there is a so, lot. Starting today, uh, you can get corn dogs. Can indeed. That's very Janine. important. What time yes. does that start? Uh, I don't know. 10 30? 10 30, 11? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Um, let's see here. Uh, West Salem Development Association having its annual Christmas auction today. At the community building on the west side of the square in West Salem. Uh, opens at 5. 5.30. Food opens at 5.30. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see here. Uh, another massive sports card and memorabilia show up at the Elks tonight. Doors open about 5 on that. So that's just what's happening today. Veterans Day Parade tomorrow. High school football tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Um, Activities going on up uh, at Willow Creek. The, uh, well, that's coming up Sunday. Don't forget the uh, craft fair. At craft the, fair yes, at the Wayne at County the Wayne County Fair Fairgrounds. Fairgrounds. Yes. Yep, yep. It's it's just going to be yep. It's just going to be busy. Yes, yeah, Sunday's the um, Frontier Foundation fashion Fran, show. Fran Carter Fashion Show. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, yes, at Willow yep. Creek. Uh huh. So it's it's. Yes, we have to set the clocks back. Oh, the yeah, yeah, as well. yeah, I forgot about that. Yes, Man. yes, it's time to fall back. When do we do that? Saturday or Saturday, Sunday? Uh, Saturday night, Sunday morning Sunday at 2? Sunday morning at 2? 
right. Yeah. So you gonna set an alarm? No. Get up. <laughs> I'll just put, I'll just make my clock fall back when I go to bed. Yeah. There you go. There you so. go. All right. So Chris, thanks for joining hey, us. Hey, thank you for it, having man. me. I All appreciate right. it. We'll talk yes. To you, uh, we'll see y'all later. All right. Onward thanks. Fairfield. Onward Fairfield. March right down that line. <laughs> Take the ball. We